Well, I won't back Great. down. We're reducing tensions and no, building economic ties. And we hope down. this progress continues because it's in the interest of both sides, the region and the United States. Uh, indeed, I reaffirmed our commitment to a one China policy based on the three U.S. China communiques and the Taiwan Relations Act. I told President Hu that we appreciated China's there role in is, reducing tensions uh, on Barry the Korean Sitaro, Peninsula. There is Sitaro, the Indonesian we citizen. that North Korea must avoid further provocations. Up there with uh, uh, Hu Jintao, the, the communist North Chinese North dictator. Uh, he is elected by the uh, Communist Committee that is a group of dictators. So the appointed frontman of a committee of uh, filthy rich corrupt dictators uh, who wallow with the wealthy robber barons uh, of the West uh, to destroy the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. And of course, he bowed to him again yesterday. He bowed to him again a year ago. Obama hasn't ever found anybody that he didn't want to bow down to. And I was watching some of the press conference. It was about how China is committed in helping the U.S. force through the Copenhagen Treaty. Really, that China is exempt from. And they build two to three new reactors a week, uh, new power plants. They're also building a lot of nuclear reactors. And we build uh, two power plants a year on average because that's all the government allows us to have. And now the feds have come into Texas that's supplying power to five surrounding states, the biggest power generator in the U.S., and has told us we've got to shut down and then pay more. No judge, no jury. Congress didn't pass this Copenhagen. But what's the head of NASA and others call for? They said China's going to put tariffs on us if we don't accept the carbon tax. And, oh, whatever China says, we better do. This is about groveling to China. It's been armed. It's been positioned. It's been put into place. And it's involved expanding worldwide as the New World Order's main hydra of tyranny. Because it is a complete nightmare high-tech tyranny over there. On record. And you notice it's a total embracing of it. Covertly, the bankers that run our country that set up the UN have funded and created this monster. And backed it up in the oppression of its people. And now there's a total Embrace of it. Here are some of the headlines and we're going to our guest. Meet the new boss. China owns the United States. But again, only through the bankers who sit above them. Continuing, China plants a flag on Constitution Avenue. Never before done. Hundreds of flags all over Pennsylvania Avenue. Just flaunting it. So that when his lordship drove in on the red carpet and uh, walked over the red carpet and then drove in, he would see... Uh, the uh, capital turned into a worship fest for authoritarianism. What does this tell you? What does this uh, say here? Our government grovels to tyranny. Well, of course, we're setting a tyranny up here. Our government has exported tyranny and tried to put dictators in and death squads all over the world if the governments didn't serve them. Here's the London Guardian. China on equal footing with U.S. as Hu Jintao visits Washington. The U.S. has been taken over by the banks that got $28 trillion in just the last two years that they won't say where it went. But we're told we're owned by China and they're our boss because they own $1 trillion. China's owned by the very same banking cartel. China's inferiority in hard power has turned Beijing's advantage and sights on its growing soft power abroad. See, the U.S. plays the part of the devil, as I've told you for years, taking over the world, torturing people. The CIA releases the torture, internationally wanting to destroy our name, but then domestically telling us it's good. So that we are now the new Hitler, and when we collapse, the world will rejoice, and then China will rise up with the EU, and that's the planetary regime. Then the U.S. will be rebuilt as a troop-supplying mercenary backwater. That's all been written about, all been planned by the globalist. Uh, China logs double-digit growth in the U.S. The U.S. has 2% so-called growth. That's with Cook numbers. That's what slavery does for you. China got stealth tech from Russia, U.S. lawmaker says. Analyst, what is the plan uh, if, what's plan B if China dumps its U.S. debt? I mean, what, what did Hu Jintao say two days before coming here? He said the dollar's over. America's over. He knows full well all we've got's the dollar. He knows the decision's been made to devalue it. 
He knows the decision's been made to make the Chinese currency part of the new world reserve currency 30 years ago by the Trilateral Commission and David Rockefeller. It's all been written about. How did I know exactly what would happen? Because we understand the globalist. And it just continues here with what's happening. Um, we have traitors within our government who can pass laws to shut down our industry to boost the stock in their companies that are overseas, in Mexico, uh, in India, in China, and in, again, 160-plus other countries. It's very cold-blooded. It, it allows them to destroy freedom. It allows them to collectivize here as people lose their jobs and now fall onto the social safety net that was just for the poorest, that now is going to be for more than half the public that's on some form of government assistance. You can see where this is going. And the authoritarians are confident because they know having half the public on some type of government paycheck, those people will do and vote for whatever they're told to do by this corrupt system. And that's why we're in deep trouble. They are coming after the free speech. They are coming after the guns. They are coming after your farms and ranches and your homes. And they are going to have unlimited armies of people who wouldn't, couldn't get jobs at McDonald's in uniforms trained to beat your brains out. So you better take your counties and your cities over. You better get good cops in there and good sheriffs. You better understand they're putting the, their federalized goons in right now and that we're in a horrible situation. The CIA is now operating in every major U.S. city. All illegal. Face scanning cameras, total surveillance, all illegal. Satellites with uh, infrared biometric IDs. I told people about this eight years ago and got laughed at when I had the, the uh, Department of Defense reports. Alexander Haig was making the money off of it. Uh, it says, Utah City may use blimp as anti-crime spy in the sky. The blimps are already up there. Most of them over 100,000 feet. On the clearest days, there's like a little silver dot. The news points cameras at it, ABC News, in Utah a few years ago and said, is it a flying saucer? And it looked like the Hindenburg with two black propellers on it with solar panels on the side with, 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 with infrared cameras hanging off the bottom. And I know the name of the airship company. I know about the billion-dollar contracts. But, it, but people couldn't believe there was a surveillance blimp at 125,000 feet. So they wanted to believe it was aliens instead. Remember when I ranted about that? And then I go on big syndicated shows and they make fun of me and go, what's this about imaginary blimps? Here it is in Reuters, okay? They got Homeland Security blimps over every major city. Alexander Haig got the money. They're, they're, they're scanning you, they're following you, they're license plate reading, okay? <laughs> There's unlimited money to enslave you. It's a criminal government. They can face scan everything, but they can't stop 500 billion a year of drugs coming in. Now, I want to play this video and go to this young man. We'll keep him five minutes in the next hour. Then we got Lindsey Williams coming on. He's um, Mateus Rojas. He's 17 years old. When I heard his voice, he sounded you know, very strong, like he was you know, 30, 40 years old. But he is strong. He's got that liberty in his chest, in his heart, in his soul. And that's what's so exciting about standing up to tyrants and hearing that humanity in his voice. You hear somebody else in the background in Spanish saying, you will fail. You will fail repeatedly. Uh, and it's it's going to get millions of views. It's already got, on the different versions I saw, 400, 500, I, I forget, 1,000 views. One video alone, a quarter million. Uh, this just got posted two days ago. And uh, he's got breaking news. He's got a, an intelligence source. And obviously, the Rockefeller-funded Henry Kissinger coup with Pinochet, where they imprisoned over the years hundreds of thousands, killed tens of thousands. Uh, obviously, it, it's more of a free country now, but not as much. He wants to use his name. He's got a bunch of sources. I would advise him not to give these sources out of this bombshell info he's got. How he knew where Rockefeller was coming in on the airport. Uh, the intel he's about to give you, I don't know if he wants to actually give that source out or they may shut that source down. Uh, but I'll just say, I mean, obviously, this young man uh, is is in a dangerous situation. And I'm going to tell him that now. I'm not trying to scare him, but we need to. That's why it's good that he's going public. And that's why it's good that he's getting a lot of attention, because uh, David Rockefeller, we already know uh, the globalists are all basically moving to South America. And that's the breaking news. And, you know, they believe territorially that Chile is theirs. And uh, if they're able to take it back over, you will be put on a death squad list. I mean, that's their main enjoyment. Uh, and so, uh, 
just like here in the U.S., if they get their tyranny in, I'm on a death squad list. I mean, uh, that part of that's even been declassified under InfraGuard. They have a, a list of people they want killed immediately, not even arrested. So we're going to play him confronting David Rockefeller and then go to him with some very powerful uh, breaking news. Joining us from Chile, 17-year-old man who people are just marveling at, uh, at, 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 at the way he rebuked uh, Emperor Palpatine, known as David Rockefeller. Here it is. Rockefellers, come back. We don't want your new world order, you know? Mm -hmm. Leave Chile right now. Leave Chile. Mm -hmm. You are not... You're, you're killing a lot of people! You're killing a lot of people! Leave here. Leave Chile right now. Leave Chile. Leave Chile. We don't want your world government. Leave Chile right now. Leave Chile, okay? Leave Chile. Your family... Your family is the most disgusting in the world, you know? Leave here. Leave. Leave. You also, you're a traitor to Chile. Mr. Agustin Edwards, you're a traitor to Chile, okay? You're a traitor to Chile. What you're doing right now, okay? 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 You know everything. You know everything. You're participating with him. You're participating with him in this. Your world government will fail, okay? Your world government will fail. Will fail. Will fail. You know what? Leave Chile right now. We don't want you here. We don't want you to discuss things here. Leave Chile now. 